This is D13, and welcome aboard. All right, hi folks. Here's another episode, and we're looking today at the Walk Industries area of the base. This is inspired very heavily by City Walk City Walls Mars series that he did for City Skylines. Um, I'm going to read you the description that he has for his series. Move to Mars. A better life awaits. Leave your worries behind. You're on a spaceship, waking up from cryosleep. As you and hundreds of others exit a tunnel into the colony, your heart sinks. Sewage leaks from pipes overhead. Trash piles up in corners. Thousands cram through a dirty open-air market. Others sleep in the streets. You look up towards the glass dome ceiling 200 feet above your head. A blooming jacaranda sheds its flowers into a gurgling garden fountain. How do we get up there, you ask? Someone answers, you can't. Now this series that uh, City Walk City Wall did was absolutely wonderful. And uh, there's like 21 episodes. I suggest you just go watch those. Those are so amazing. But I've tried to capture the essence of what he did on on that Mars series. And this Walk Industries building is sort of, well, I'm paying homage to, to his series, but it's also a place where the affluent or rich uh, would go sign up to go to the upper area of his series. You know, the, the, the rich area. And uh, here you'll see, uh, just in front of you, the City Walk City Wall statue. This is a little tribute to him. He's such a great builder. And here, okay, well now we're going to start behind the scenes. So this is where I'm showing you a little bit of how I built this little, these little mini cities at the very beginning when I was building the map. And this one is underneath the gold, the uh, golden gardens. What did I call it? <laughs> and uh, resort. And then I, I'll be building across from that where the uh, Walk Industries building is. So here you see the traffic moving in when I dropped all these buildings in here. And eventually I, I started playing around. This is maybe the most you're going to see me do when it comes to traffic management, which is right here where I'm trying to get the lanes so that the built, the cars aren't crossing over each other and causing traffic jams. Turns out once they're all moved in, they hardly come here anymore it's via the roads because there's, there's such a robust uh, transport network in the base. So here's the walk industry side and these the little white cubes with the green arrows are entertainment. They're like parks. And the blue ones are commercial. And the green ones are your housing. So here I'm putting the buildings in. And I'm trying to do functioning buildings. These buildings are not POs for the most part. Um, so like this one's a real building. That one you see off to the left there is. And these little small ones on the right are all functioning buildings. And they all face the road or can connect to the road on the opposite side, underneath the edge of the base. So some of these are PO'd um, just so I can manipulate their sizes a little bit. And then like these bigger buildings, these come from, they're a City Walk City Wall asset. I think somebody created this for him to, for, to build a spaceport. But I love these buildings. And since they come from the set that was uh, made a set made specifically for the Mars build. I thought it'd be great to, to put these in here. Just continue adjusting all these buildings. Just try to get them all in the right spots. I hear I was trying to do a little bit along the bottom. You know, trying to finish off the bottom edge of the buildings. I wasn't sure at this point when I was building exactly how big this area was going to be. You don't see anything on the left over here, which is where the Stargazer Hotel is. So there's the stargazer all of a sudden it's there because I, I did a lot of these builds sort of out of order I would just move back and forth as I felt inspired to do different things in, in the base now here I was actually trying to build this so that it wasn't perfectly symmetrical I have a little bit of a problem with symmetry I want to make everything uh, symmetrical I want all my buildings to be you know like exactly the same like you can flip them left to right and they would look exactly the same that's maybe just a little bit of a a problem <laughs> and there's no architectural interest in doing that so I, I tried a lot harder here to break it up a little bit and give it some architectural interest 
So this building does have that little mini city underneath, so the people come in through the uh, catwalk over there. Oh, conveyors and crates. So in the in City Walk, City Walls Mars series, he doesn't have any roads uh, per se. There's like no real roads going around the city. He uses conveyor belts, and all the crates are actually like the service vehicles so they can get around to all the different places in the city. And he built these assets for the conveyor belts. So I, I really wanted to use these, but I don't yet have a... I'm not yet showing any kind of crate movement inside the walls of the base or showing any kind of crate facilities, but I thought it'd be really neat to have just one conveyor belt with some crates up here. And rather than just making it a road where they go around and around, I decided to turn them into procedural objects and use the procedural objects back and forth module to animate the crates to make it look like they're moving along the conveyor belt. So I do a single crate and then I do another one that has three crates on the belt and I alternate them back and forth so you get a little bit of variety on the, on the crates. Mars soil. So here I decided I wanted to make the ground area in front of the building very reminiscent of Mars. So this is Mars. Let's just say this is soil from Mars. And I put down one of these holograms of Mars and it, I'm going to move it later. So I filled this in like this because this building to me is more than just Walk Industries headquarters on the base. And you know, like it's a recruitment area. It's a place for people to, you know, for them to recruit employees to, you know, book the rich people to go on vacations on Mars and things like that. Oh, here we go, moving the... So I wanted this to be working. And to do so, I wanted it to be hooked up to a road. So I had to put this road in here that just goes up underneath the building so that it has services to the uh, globe. And I put another one on the other side. Oh, these are really cool props. They're like a... Like, I don't know if they're Korean signs or something, but they're these light-up sign poles that have all these little, little advertisements on them. And I put them all the way down this uh, central area. So here I am finishing off the dirt. <laughs> and this is a helicopter that uh, City Walk City Wall did for his city. And I put that in there. So I used a lot of the assets that he used as sort of like props to show off Mars, like, you know, what's all the cool stuff you're going to see if you move to Mars or if you check out Mars. So I use this uh, edging that I used elsewhere to make the very upper um, co uh, concourse. And I'm making a, you know, a little platform here, a plaza, an upper plaza. So I make the edge first, and then I'm going to bring in the terraforming network. Oh, I got to put these doors in. So I was trying to figure out where do I want the paths to go through later. So I put these doors in, sort of spaced them where I thought I might want to run paths. This will help me kind of figure out where to connect all the stuff. And I got a hold of these uh, escalators, and these are a pretty cool asset. Although you, I don't, I don't know if there's a way to make the people move only one direction on a path. I haven't found a one-way path that's invisible. So I put these in here, and one goes up, one goes down, and then this is the um, the surface network so that I can plop things on top of, uh, like put decals up here and uh, put trees and things on top. I did not finish this underneath, so if you're looking up, you will see through it. I will eventually go back and, and fix that, I believe. So at this, at this point, I was thinking, um, okay, I got to get these. Uh, I'm going to put some buildings underneath the middle here, and then I'm going to get a railing all the way along the edge because, well, I love my glass railing that I put along the concourse, and I'm, I thought, well, let's get that in here as well um, so it looks, you know, really nice along this, on this edge. And I, wanna, 
I wanted the glass because it you know, lets you see through if I have plants and stuff behind this. You know. So we're going to skip forward a little bit through here as I go. I'm going to do little bits and then you'll all of a sudden see me doing a little more and a little more. Because I didn't want to show you all of it. It would take forever because these, you know, this is at 13 times speed and it, it this really took a long time to do. And I didn't quite get it all lined up perfectly. I probably will have to go back in the future and try to line things up. There we got, finally got that all done and then I turned them all into procedural objects and I and they put them on a layer. So here I am doing the path, trying to do the pathways and I'm doing the connections to the ground with these raised pathways and then they're going to go, you know, in through those doorways and connect to the little mini city on the inside, the little, you know, city that I got built back there using those cubes. And those little cities have got all the services there too. I put a little bit of each service at each each mini city so that the the services don't have to travel very far. But you can see all in the background there when the walls aren't there, you can actually see how many vehicles are moving through the base. And there we go. I'm putting the I'm going to turn these invisible and get them lined up. And then we'll have tons of people walking along here shortly. Alright, so the lower plaza, here again is where I'm detailing a little bit more about the, you know, a little bit more of the stuff that looks like it came from the Mars build. This building is not, but I thought this building just looked perfect underneath here. Kind of looks like uh, cooling fins from a CPU or something. I don't know, it just looked weird and I thought, ah, oh, I want to put this under here. So I put a couple of those raisable park generators up on top here. So that's why you had a lot of people standing around. There's a Walk Industries billboard that you didn't see me put in. I did that sort of in between things. So this is the uh, statue, the worker statue. I don't know where it, if it comes from the DLC, from the industries, or where that comes from. But I decided this statue was going to be a tribute to City Walk, City Wall, because he's a great builder. Get it? So I sort of switched after I put the thing down. I switched to doing, adding some of these other things to the uh, to the fronts of these buildings. These are part of the City Walk, City Wall assets for the conveyor belt stuff. I'm getting a little, a little bit of a cinematic here, just showing off where it's at, where we're at, uh, at this point when I was constructing this. I sort of uh, recorded uh, a lot of these, these uh, cinematic shots, to show progress, and I'll be showing the same cinematic shot at various times. So here we go, doing a little gardening. I got a hold of these big curb, what do you call them, planter areas. You know, they're, this one was a circle that I turned into an oval. And stretched it all out, and now I'm just pulling the edges in so that I get this uh, shape right up against the edge of the... I'm gonna copy, copy these over a few times. And I'll have to adjust a couple of them still. And then I will be doing some plants. So there, there it is when it's in its round state before I stretched it out. So I wanted to do these in a couple different sizes. So I was playing around here trying to figure. I wanted three different sizes, a small, medium, and a large. So here I am trying to move the <laughs> edge of the grass in again. Just for this one to match the uh, match the railing, of course. It's a lot of little vertices to move along there, and there we go. Got that all lined up real nice, and I came in here to put some park benches in. 
And it turns out like some of the terrain underneath is sort of off and causing some of these benches to just not be at the same height as other ones. So it was very strange. And here's some pot pots to put the trees in. You saw me use the trees at the Golden Gardens along with these pots and I think they're spruce trees or something. I can't remember what exactly they are. Anyway, so I put these trees in here and I tried to put the bigger ones, you know, whenever I got a bigger one I moved it and things like that to try to get the big ones all together inside the circles. Still having problems with that thing uh, changing time of day on me. I eventually had to go turn it off in the settings to stop it from using time of day. Even though I had it turned off with the uh, with the mod that handles that. So here I am picking the colors of the orange and purple colors to go, um, you know, flowers to go in here. I think there's a mod that'll turn off all this dirt when I put things down, all these all this dust. I think I'm going to have to figure that out. I took one of the big the buildings and I sh made it really big and then I got rid of the building. So I'm just keeping the sign portion of this because I wanted to put the sign really high up on the building. So once we get that all figured out here, I can put it around the top of this building here. And we have a giant walk industry sign. So here I, I decided to put in some decoration for the lower plaza area and put in these uh, these little, you know, little garden circles down here. I thought it the green, the orange, the purple, they all really play well against this surface color here. I really I really like how this came out. Oh, here we go. This is the <laughs> where I put the letters on the statue. <laughs> so that's why the letters CWCW are there. Is to honor City Walk, City Wall, who I've mentioned a bunch of times in this episode. So I'm sure if you've found me, you have absolutely already seen his wonderful work. He doesn't need me promoting it. <laughs> he did a airport in a previous thing before his uh, Mars series that really was the first time I had ever seen the craziness that people could build in, in uh, City Skylines. So here we go. We've got the City Walk, City Wall animated uh, sign. I use this over at the Stargazer. This is it with basically just with the generic Walk Industries logo. adjusting of that sign there and now the cable cars so one of the staples of uh, the Mars build is these awesome cable car network that he built throughout the entire city and I wanted to capture that sort of and have you know a cable car going back and forth now it is a functioning cable car I raised them up real high and I brought in some roads all the way up to the top here and people can walk, go across the cable cars and walk down those roads to those little blocks on, and they connect the, the upper levels on both sides. So besides going down and walking through the pathway that cuts through the monorail, the people in the upper little mini city areas, um, which are disconnected for the most part from the lower city areas, uh, can go up here and use the cable cars to get across to the other side. Now, I do come back and put in the Mars cable cars, but while I was building this, I had not subscribed to that asset for some reason. So when I was building this, I, I didn't have that opportunity, but I came back and did that later. So I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this blinking, but I eventually just turned the edges of this thing a dark gray color. So now I've got it hooked up on one side, and I'm, and I'm going to make sure it's all hooked up on the other side shortly. And here we, no, I thought we were going over there, but I'm lowering it a little bit. So here's the other side. You saw me do this in the Golden Gardens uh, 
episode. And I had some blue glass buildings back here, but I replaced them with these blue glass buildings. <laughs> so really it was just a replacement of blue glass building with blue glass building. And that does go down inside and connects to the, the little city back there behind the Golden Gardens. That's why I showed that at the beginning of the episode. So you'll know that the cable cars connect those two little cities. And here's that same cinematic again. You can see now that a lot more has happened. We have people congregating here. We got both of the uh, Mars holograms going on. Now here I'm putting in like a little, I don't know, I guess these would be like a security thing. They're actually like little ticket booths or little ticket machines. But it's not possible really to read those too well. So I thought, oh, maybe these could be sort of a security clearance type uh, type thing. So here is, I'm working on a little mini Mars dome. I already got the dome, the giant dome that uh, City Walk did shrunk way down and you can see it right there I replaced some of the plants right there with it I'm using this you know this uh, asset I think CityWalk made this asset also it's a network and I, I put this in here and I just wanted to have a little edge like a edge of a planter and now you see on the right here this is CityWalk CityWall's logo I really wanted to pay homage to his logo I wanted to use the colors of that logo somewhere because I just love how the beautiful colors of that logo. And you see them in the plants, the flowers, and things like that around here. And I thought, what if I made a little mini city inside this little tiny mini Mars dome? You know, I, it's a little crazy. I mean, it's not a functional city. But I thought, hey, this could uh, act as a advertisement slash, you know, art installation piece uh, in front of the, you know, the headquarters. So I started taking some of these buildings and I started, you know, changing them, putting colors over them and making them the, you know, the main colors of that logo. So ultimately I, I'm going to continue to build this little city until, until I have something that just looks really, really different. I mean, it's not meant, you know, there's no roads, there's no nothing flying around in here. There's no little mini vehicles or anything moving around. I just thought it'd be kind of neat just to have this art this art piece in here. Although I'm probably going to regret this at some point in the future with these each of these being a procedural object with tons of vertices and um, you know faces and stuff like that. This could really cause some stuttering and things in the uh, in the future in cinematics. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I might have to put those on a layer and hide them from time to time when I'm trying to do some cinematics. I had actually thought maybe I'd make this all a group and have it rotate. But since the dome on Mars doesn't rotate it, you know. You're going to see me this asset. This is a really cool like tower asset that I'm going to be using in the next episode. Very, you know, I'm going to build a couple of those for the security and police headquarters. I think building this little this little city was one of the most fun bits of of the build so far because it was uh, I was trying to sort of do the thing kind of and build it mirrored so that you had the front if you looked at it from the front or the back you got the same look of what you were looking at until I got to the little tiny squares that I'm going to put in here shortly now I'm, and uh, I added this green ones in here because I just thought it needed a little bit of green. So here are these cubes. I decided to put these cubes in here and just sort of fill the rest of it out. So that's it's like it's like seeing lights or small buildings and stuff in the in the darkness because I wasn't able to actually give this depth where you know it goes down and there's a, and you can see down into the city. Although I had considered taking a screenshot from one of uh, City Walk's videos and making like a you know, a decal or something to put in there so it looked like you were looking down into the city. But in the end, I think this works better as an art installation. Seems like a very popular place. 
All right, gearing up. <laughs> so I wanted to put some motion here, do something weird. So I got rid of most of that statue, made a copy of it, just down to the gear, and I recentered the object origin, and then I put the rotation module on it from procedural objects. So I'd get a rotating gear. There we go. Then I thought, you know, I'm going to put a second gear in there, but, for, you know, I, I want to take this uh, statue and get rid of this gear from it so I can put the rotating gear in place. So I'd grab a hold of all these little gear pieces and shrink them down. So now we'll get this into place, and you can see now it just looks like the gear is rotating there. So I took a second gear, and I wanted to put it just below the other one and have it counter-rotating. But it didn't look quite right there, like the gear was touching the concrete, so I'm going to go in here and edit the statue and just move the entire upper piece of the statue up a tiny bit so I can get the gears underneath there. And they look like they're rotating in the original position. This is the Laika Memorial. Laika was a Soviet space dog who became one of the first animals in space and is the first animal to orbit the Earth. Laika was a stray mongrel from the streets of Moscow and was selected to be the occupant of the Soviet spacecraft Sputnik 2 that was launched into low orbit on the 3rd of November, 1957. No capacity for her recovery and survival was planned and she died of overheating or asphyxiation shortly before she was to be poisoned. And I really wanted it to be more than just a, you know, memorial. I wanted it also to be, to, to be a dog park. So I ran some paths through here and I put in, I'm going to be putting in some benches and some of these seat site parks where people will come and sit uh, underneath each of the benches. So this has a, a use besides, you know, besides just being a, you know, a memorial. So each, so the, I haven't mentioned this before, but the space base here is owned by the Coalition. The Coalition is sort of like Star Trek's Federation, you know, things like that. So the, each Coalition space base throughout the galaxy also has a memorial to Laika. And on this space base, like I said, um, it stands across from Walk Industries and the Alien Rock Park, and it, and it definitely doubles as a dog park. I'm really looking forward to doing more little things like this in future builds. These these little these these little things like this are something that really bring me joy when building in uh, City Skylines. All right, folks, we'll sit right back and enjoy the cinematics, and we'll see you again next episode.
Thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And we'll see you again soon. If you like this video, check out these cool videos.